Welcome back everybody. I hope everybody's having a good time, a great Halloween. And if you haven't started celebrating yet, I hope your Halloween will be great. But now let's move on <laughs> with with the this the part two <laughs> of the uh, incredible, huge, and uh, frightful and uh, probably respectful. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Be, yeah, the big, uh, uh, the big horror stack part two. So it's time to continue with this. I actually added a couple from another pile because I had have another stack of movies with other things than horror. But on the top there were some horror ones that I was going to do before Halloween, but that, that never happened. I never had time for that even. So I threw those horrors in in this pile. So it became like four or five more, or whatever it was. Uh, but I'm going to do this quick. I need to pick up the pace because there's loads to do. There's loads of horror movies to watch. <laughs> so yeah, uh, I picked up uh, season two, brand new, very, very cheap, uh, season two of Walking Dead. But I also got it in a birthday gift on Blu-ray from Marco. So my friend Marco got, got me that. So happy Halloween, Marco. But thank you for that once again. Uh, but if I had known that he was going to send me that, I would have never picked this up. But on the other hand, I don't have a Blu-ray player, so I can't watch my Blu-rays yet. Uh, I will get one eventually. So, eventually. So, but uh, I, I don't mind having having it on Blu-ray and DVD. So, but probably if I ha had known, I would have saved the money. I think. Uh, so I picked up the season two of Walking Dead. Uh, uh, the first season of American Horror Story I picked up uh, when, when my birthday was, I thought I would buy it as a gift because it was very cheap, just at the, in a local store. Uh, so yeah, it was very, very cheap actually. Uh, actually the cheapest place <laughs> I found it, uh, the cheapest price I found it for uh, compared to all the stores and such. So they had had the best price. So, American Horror Story, I, I love American Horror Story, I'm, I'm currently watching Season 3, uh, I, I am enjoying it, uh, first I was a little bit skeptic, because I have to say that it was not, as I, it was interesting, but not as interesting as the other two seasons, but it has gotten better, it, now it is very, very interesting, now it's, it's really picked up the pace, and, and I, I'm enjoying it, I, I love this series, I think American Horror Story is a great series. I really enjoy it. So yeah, pick that one up. Uh, uh, this I'm going to watch Halloween. Halloween this today. I mean, <laughs> I picked up Grabbers. These guys, uh, they're holding holding up at a bar and drinking alcohol, so that these creatures will not get them because apparently, if you're drunk, the creatures don't want to eat you. <laughs> so yeah, it's a horror comedy. So that I'm looking forward to check the, checking that one out. Uh, be waiting too long for it. This I actually seen so for so many years ago, but I haven't picked it up for my collection, so it was about time I picked it up. It was very, very cheap, just a few dollars. So, uh, Lesbian Vampire Killers. Horror comedy. So, yeah, pretty funny. Pretty funny. Uh, and then we have uh, the Francis Ford Coppola movie, uh, uh, Bram Stoker's Dracula. Did have that as well in my collection. Seen it so many years ago. I believe I think I seen it, saw the movie at theaters even. Uh, I think. Uh, but uh, yeah, Get that one up. Uh, this I picked up a while back on. Uh, I, picked, I bought it used from the eBay, uh, the Swedish eBay that is. Uh, the Rob Zombie movie, Lords of Salem. And I really like this one. I really enjoy. It. I, I, I like. The way his style is uh, developing, uh, too. I really like it. I, I thought it could have been better, sure, but I liked it. it. It was a step in the right direction, absolutely. And I have no problems with this earlier movie. I love Rob Zombie. I think House of a Thousand Corpses and Devil's Rejects. And I, I, lo I love those movies. I think they are great. Um, but, yeah. Uh, yeah, I liked Lords of Salem very, very much. I thought it was really good. Uh, if, if if there's anything I, I should say about it is that he should have 
put more weird and crazy in it. I don't, I don't think it was crazy enough. So, uh, yeah. But uh, I liked it. So. Let's move on. Sinister also enjoyed very much a great spooky, creepy <coughs> movie. Re enjoyed it very much. Sinister was really good. Uh, VHS mixed mixed reviews about this this one and mixed penis. I saw this back in like a couple of months back, over a month ago, one and a half or two. I don't remember. We also picked it up cheap. Uh, VHS. Uh, I really enjoyed this one. I'm one of those that likes it. I like most of the like short segments in it, and I thought it was really good. I, I can't wait to check out the second part. I really enjoyed it. Got me a little bit inspired actually to do some new short stuff uh, of, of my own. I actually came up with a script, uh, and I this is also another one that I as, after I saw it, I kind of got into a creative mood, and I and I actually started writing and doing some stuff. It has nothing to do with the movie. I, no of the, none of the ideas really gave me any ideas like that, but... What the fuck? My neighbor is fucking hitting the wall and acting like a fucking monkey. Asshole. Uh, well, uh, the ABCs of death... Got the ABC so there, and I really enjoyed it. I thought it was inspiring. Not every one of the shorts are, are great or anything, but I think this is a good art piece. I mean, many different kind of uh, symbolic and metaphorical meanings baked into it, and, and so on and so on. I really enjoyed it. I thought it was great. Great. I can't wait to check out the other ones. And I really wanted to make one for the the next one. I even came up with a little script for it, but like, it's, there's no people here, and I don't know what to do. I came up with a good short, so but I, I'm probably will do something else with it. So ABCs of Death, really enjoy it. I haven't seen this one yet, but I bought it also very cheap, brand new, and um, yeah, very cheap from like the Swedish eBay. Uh, theater of Theater Theater Bizarre, uh, a horror anthology movie, kind of a Grand Gignol uh, inspired kind of thing. Uh, Got Ludo Kier and some other actors. Uh, I mean, Tom Savini is in it. I don't know if he's, he's directing anything or or he's just in it. Uh, but it seems like he has done something. Uh, Karim Hussain, uh, the, the director of Subconscious Cruelty. Uh, ah, there's a whole bunch of people here in here. I don't know how many shorts there are, how many segments there are. But there at least have to be like. Four, five, I don't know, five maybe. Uh, I don't see this one, this one yet, so I'm looking forward to. It. Uh, let's move on. This one I really enjoyed. This is one of the better horror movies I've seen these last years. I mean, it it really took me by surprise how good it was. I I liked the acting from the girl. Uh, I don't remember her name. <laughs> so, uh, uh, but I like this. I like the the symbolic way they did this and. Yeah, uh, I thought it was really good. I liked the ending. I liked I, I liked the whole movie. It was really really good. Uh, bandaged. I, this was one I've been meaning to be meaning to pick up for a long time, but never did. And I actually found it very very cheap, like a dollar. So I picked, picked that one up. Bandage. Uh, quarantine. Uh, I didn't have this one. Uh, started watching it a couple of years back, but I never finished it. So, yeah, maybe it's time to finish it in a quarantine. Uh, the Descent, part two. Also already seen this one many years back, but I really, really like these movies. They, they are good. Uh, uh, this is, this wasn't that, as bad, actually. I mean, Don't Be Afraid of the Dark. Uh, Gil Guillermo del Toro produced and and, and project by him. Uh, Directed by another director, but uh, it was a little weird in the in the beginning because the people was acting very strange. I thought their the way they acted like was very weird. But they, as I take it, they were supposed to be that way. But they really feel like they they have psychological problems. Every one of them, 
<laughs> the way it was directed. But it turned out good, good and, I, and I actually like the CGI creatures. Because, I mean, you can't really tell that they are CGI most of the time. I mean, I, and I, it worked, actually. I, I don't really co want to compare this to this first, like, 70s TV movie. Uh, I, I keep them separate. I mean, I, so, but uh, it works. I mean, I liked it. It was enjoyable. Swedish horror movie, uh, The Visitors, Berserkerna. Uh, really good, really good Swedish movie. Kind of a little bit of cheese, cheese in it, but mostly like really, really good, really good effects. I mean, and, uh, if you picked up uh, the Swedish uh, zombie movie Winter, then you will recognize one of the actors from this movie, uh, Johannes Brost. He's in this one. This is. Uh, one of the first horror ones, or it must have been the first horror one he was ever in. Uh, but it, this is an 80s uh, horror classic here in Sweden. I, I, we rented this back in the day when it came out on VHS, and I loved it, and I thought it was great. I still think it's great. So I picked it up very, way cheap, two, like two dollars. Uh, brand new back in here. So let's move on. Uh, also another one I picked up very, very cheap, ATM. I've not seen this one, but it seems like it can be a good time. Uh, uh, the Tall Man. Heard mixed about this one. I, I, I'm not sure how it will be. I, I hope I will enjoy it. Uh, it's a Tall Man. This was very cheap. I don't know much about it. it just a little bit of the story and such. Uh, from Within. Uh, so yeah. This is one I've been having my eyes on for a long time. I like... Uh, like abandoned places, old old abandoned hospitals, mental uh, mental asylum facilities, and, and just old crumbled, falling down houses, abandoned places, you know, uh, and like underground areas, and you know, abandoned places, old houses and such that's been abandoned for several years. I like that those kind of things. And urban exploring. I, I mean, I can sit on YouTube and watch like uh, those kind of videos. Just enjoying the hell out of it. Uh, I like urban exploring and, and such. So that's why I want to check this one out. And it's Urban Explorers. <laughs> this actually seems really, really good. Uh, so yeah. Uh, this is actually, I think it is a German, German uh, horror movie. But it's, they both speak uh, German and English. So... Anyway, they they are supposed to uh, explore the the underground of Berlin, and what can I say? Something happened. They come across blah 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 and whatever. I don't want to tell too much about it. Check it out yourself on YouTube or whatever. Check out the trailer and such. But it seems really good. I like those kind kinds of things. So urban, urban explorers, uh, grave encounters. Also wanted to pick up the second one, but I couldn't. I had to settle with just one because, uh, yeah, I didn't have much money when I picked this one up. So, but uh, I've been wanting to check this out for a while, see if it's good, if it's good or not. So, Grave Encounters. Uh, another one I also been wanting to check out for a while, but couldn't afford afford it when it came out. So. But Chernobyl Diaries. Uh, I can we check that one out. Uh, then we got another Bigfoot movie, The Lost Coast Tapes. So another one of those POV kind of things. Uh, tape 407, another POV. So yeah. Hope this is good. Uh, Actually, uh, I won this, like, it was two years ago, I wanted the, the first movie on Blu-ray from Horace Ball, Tom. I won The Human Centipede, <laughs> but I didn't have the second one, and, like, I, I don't have a Blu-ray, so I can watch the first one. I have seen it before, so, but I didn't own it on DVD or anything, so I picked up this double pack of Human Centipede and Human Centipede 2, so I got both on this double edition of yeah of human centipede <laughs> yeah. uh, let's move on uh, uh, 
Seconds Apart heard much good about this one, so I look forward to checking this, this one out. <coughs> Another one of those Studio S animal, evil, evil animal or whatever, animal at attack movies. Uh, it's uh, Wild Beasts, an Italian, Italian horror flick. I need to add to my evil, evil uh, animal <laughs> movies or whatever you want to call it. Uh, see, I was missing this Studio S one, so this was the last one I had. The only one I don't have now is that uh, Octopus movie. Uh, yeah, Tentacles. I don't have that one. I've seen it before, but I don't have it in my collection. So. Now, this is one I'd be curious about. I think actually think it can be good. I hope so. Uh, Swamp Shark. God, I really like shark movies and such. So. So Swamp Shark, I got Swamp Shark. This pile is not exact, as exciting as the first uh, part that I did with all of those gothic horror ones and such. But there, there are a couple here that are... Yeah, that are interesting. It's certainly a big stack at least. <laughs> but here, here, and Jaws. And yes, I know, I didn't have it on DVD. I don't know why I waited so long to pick it up. I, I got it for a dollar, so... <laughs> but uh, I had it from VHS for such a long time, and it's always been on TV, or friends had it, or whatever, so I really didn't feel the need to pick it up on DVD. Uh, but now I felt like I really need it, because I have my animal, animal horror collection with with sharks and such, and I don't have Jaws on DVD, so I gotta, gotta get Jaws. So I got the 30th anniversary edition of Yaws, 2 disc edition. So yeah. Uh, let's move on. Uh, a French like horror mystery movie, the Gerard, Gerard Depardieu, uh, Vidoc, Vidoc. I don't know how to pronounce it, but Vidoc. Oh, and I seen this way way back, but I never picked it up. A serial killer movie, Henry Lee Lucas. Very, very cheap. I picked that one up. Then another circuit movie called uh, Dear Mr. Gacy. Yeah, she's very good. Uh, Blue Marker picked that one up also just a while back. Uh, then we have another one. This is so weird because they released a box set called Four Movies to Keep You Awake. Uh, but four movies. In the States, another place they released it as a six movie set. But here they two movies they took out. I don't know why, but they did it. Uh, one of those movies I don't believe even has gotten released here, but one of them, the other ones that wasn't in the set, was released separate, and I've, I've been avoiding it for a very, very long time, because people have been saying that it really sucks and all of that stuff, but I really don't believe that it sucks. I think it, I think it can be really good, because I enjoyed the other ones in that box set, and the other Spanish movies in it. So, I think th this can be really good. Eh? It's called uh, An x mess Tale. <coughs> so it was really a, a part of that uh, four film to keep you, <laughs> six films to keep you awake uh, kind of thing. And I believe they, they were TV movies, but, but well made TV movies actually. Because I, I remember, I really enjoyed those other ones, the other fours that I got. So I finally got this one, so... Uh, kind of a Psycho Santa Claus kind of thing. Um, then we got another movie, uh, Clear Lake. I just bought it because it was damn cheap, one dollar only. So that's why I got it. Uh, this is one I also heard mixed reviews about. Many have said that this sucks like hell and so on and so on. But I, I came to a point where I have to check it out myself. Uh, and it was, it was very, very cheap, so <laughs> Return to Sleepaway Camp. Just hoping it will be fun to watch and, and not just bad, not just plain bad. Uh, and this actually was in a horror pack with some other movies that I got, so... Uh, but I already got this movie since way, way back. Uh, but I don't have the 3D version with the glasses, but this... This is the 3D version with the glasses, so uh, Friday the 13th, part 3 with with the 3D glasses and ending full 3D, so that's why I'm going to keep this, even even if I have the older one, so I'm going to keep this one. Uh, so yeah, that, I got that one. 
I also, also already have this one, but another edition of it, and it was a part of a, like a mixed package kind of thing from the Swedish eBay, so Rosemary's Baby, I don't know what if I will keep this one or get rid of it, one of the editions I will have to get rid of, I just have to figure out which one I like the most. Uh, this is the older cover, so I actually like this cover more than the other one, but I believe the other one has some other features on it. Possibly, I don't know. I need to check that out again. Uh, and then these packs. Actually, there's nothing really special about these packs. Just because they are cool. And I have many of the movies already. I bought this one for two reasons. Uh, first of all, I one of the movies I don't have. I bought it for that. Blood Trails, I don't have that one. There's a movie called Blood Trails there. That one I don't have. And also, the edition of Babysitter Wanted has a totally... Uh, other design than the one I have. It's a whole nother cover on it. Here we have like a little child's carriage filled with body parts. The other one I have is just the, like the girl in the front. So I kind of like the, the the difference. And also I picked it up for blood trains. And it's a nice it's a nice pack to have with my other packs. And this is also another case where I have I actually have every one of these movies. Uh, but I really like Home Movie. Home Movie was fucking great. It's the one of, in my opinion, it's, as of now, it's one of my favorite POV movies. I really, really love that a lot. I thought it was great. Uh, so I picked it up in this box set here. Uh, yeah. And, just, um, and the other ones, I, have, I already have all of these. But I like the title of The Devil's Ground better than the, the fucking cycle or whatever it was called. And the cover is better. Uh, so yeah, and The Perfect Witness, I also think that's, that edition looks better than the one I have. But I really like this box, and I probably want to open it. But just, just, yeah, it's cool to have. It was cheap as hell as well. So yeah. But that's it for me. Fucking shit, now it's time to celebrate Halloween. Uh, so I hope you're, you're gonna have a great time. And I know I will, because I have loads of hard to watch. And I, I just need, I need to get start cracking on the fucking Halloween punch <laughs> so uh, and stuff like that and also eat something because I haven't eaten anything in, in hours and hours so I need to eat something before I fucking faint but I need to upload this video but I hope you have, will have a great awesome Halloween I know I will so take care everybody and watch horror drink some fucking pumpkin ale and have a blast bye